Well, returning to our top story now and the loss of over $100 billion in value for the Adani Group, we can speak to Pavni Mittal. She joins us now live from New Delhi. Pavni, can you talk us through some of the fallout we're seeing here? So one of India's biggest companies is facing an unprecedented crisis. The Adani Group has lost about $100 billion in valuation in just a week. Its founder, Gautam Adani, has personally lost more than $30 billion in that time. He is no longer Asia's wealthiest man. The stock markets have also responded. Uh, you know, shares of uh, various Adani companies have plunged so low that trading had to be paused for some of them. Now, all of this is a reaction to that surprising announcement made by the group last night. The company says it is cancelling its follow-on public offer, or FBO. Last week, it listed additional shares in the stock market. The FPO was pretty successful. They raised about $2.5 billion. The company says because of the volatility in its stock prices and to protect investors, it will be returning that money to investors. But international and local media have questioned the credibility of that FPO in the sense they're accusing uh, the Adani Group of sort of orchestrating its success. Two of the companies that, that underwrote that FPO, which basically means did the risk analysis for investors, are linked to the Adani Group. It has also been reported that a lot of the money came from Adani's personal friends who, who poured in their own personal wealth. There's also a $400 million check that came from a firm in Abu Dhabi that is backed by the royal family over there. Now, remember, all of this is a response to a damning report by an American company last week. Hindenburg Research has accused the Adani Group of, quote, pulling off the largest con in history. It has accused the group of stock market manipulation and accounting fraud. The Adani Group has denied these allegations. Well, Pavni, this surely must have some political repercussions, too. Well, there is a huge credibility crisis playing out over here, financially as well as politically. Now, financially speaking, uh, banks are keeping a close eye. It is reported that at least two international banks are no longer accepting Adani bonds as collateral. So people who have those loans now have to furbish alternative uh, uh, um, uh, collateral. Uh, it is also reported that India's national uh, bank has asked other banks to uh, reveal their exposure to the Adani group. Politically speaking, opposition parties have long believed and long said that the Adani group enjoys special status because of a personal friendship between Prime Minister Narendra Modi mm. and founder Gautam Adani. They are now demanding a probe and also demanding uh, 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 the parliament debate uh, what's going on in one of India's biggest companies. Now, interestingly, this comes as the Adani Group has cracked an important deal overseas. It now owns Haifa Port in Israel, billion-dollar deal. There were pictures with Prime Minister Netanyahu that were released. There's also conversation that the Adani Group will be investing in building artificial intelligence labs in Israel. A very interesting story. We'll be staying across for you here on Al Jazeera. Pavni Mittal, therefore, us in New Delhi. Thank you, Pavni.